What's up, Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and uh, this is part two of the air compressor setup series. This video here, we're gonna tell you what happened and what we had to do to diagnose this thing and what the problem was. And it was basically my mistake, um, a simple error here um, that I thought was supposed to be right because in the back of the plug here it said Blanco, which means white. So I figured the white plug, the white wire was supposed to be over here. So let's take a look at what happened because I had the electrician come out and he fixed it in like three minutes, you know, basically. So come over here. Right here, this plug here, right, is supposed to be the ground. I made a mistake and I was putting the white, the hot on it here. The only reason why I put the white here uh, to start with was because it says white right on it. And then it says Blanco. It says white. I don't know if you could see it. Can you see it right there? It says white. I assume that the white had to stay there. So what, what, what I was doing was changing the black and ground out with no change in the air compressor, right? Basically, the compressor was getting only 110 volts, half the volts of what it's supposed to get. So when the guy came, all he did was change the white and the ground out right, putting the two hots on, on these two in the ground here. I mean, it, it was common sense. I obviously should have known that, but next time I know, right? I'm not an electrician. I don't do this all the time. And I goofed and I really thought that because it said white here, the white had to be on this thing here. Although usually this one is the ground, you know? So that was it. That's basically it. We switched, switched the wire around. It was only getting 110 volts. Now it's getting full power. Uh, and it runs really good. So let's put this thing back together, fire it up, and I'll show you the difference in how this thing runs. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead, screw this piece of wood to the wall here, hook up our regulator, and uh, water filter up, right? We're gonna hook the hose up, we're gonna hook everything up so we have air uh, coming out of our compressor and uh, usable air in, in the garage. All right, so it's Tony, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next series. Everything is hooked up, we just put the plug back in, plugged it in, and now I'm gonna crank it up and you can listen to it um, and see the difference in how it was in the part one video, the first video, all right? So everything's set up now. Um, let's go ahead and fire it up. So we had to do a couple of things uh, right in here. I had to get a, a half inch uh, to three eighths adapter so I can get my three eighths um, hose in here. The three eighths right there, okay? And I got this side, I got a quick disconnect um, to thread back into the other side to the exit air. And then we're gonna mount this to the wall uh, with a couple of straps or something to keep it uh, so it doesn't move anywhere. So we're gonna hook all this up right now on the wall. Um, and then we're good to go. It's just an adapter, basically. All right, and okay. Let's do this side. So I have a Fossner wood bit right here. I'm basically gonna cut this size hole in the wood so I can recess uh, this whole area into my wood here. Our unit should slip right in. See that? So now I have a piece of band iron here. Uh, I'm gonna cut it and screw uh, to the wall. This way it holds our unit, okay? So I'm gonna cut it with a pair of shears. So I'll go right here.
we got our air right into the regulator here and this is how you adjust it okay so basically in the tank now we have about 90 85 or 90 psi i could flip it up to get it back up to 150 um, but if we look here um, it shows it should say 60 psi right so i like to set this at about 80. all you do is when you turn it all right you just turn it clockwise and then it goes up to like 80 there uh yeah it's about right okay and that's it that's how you adjust it if you back it off and let the air out of the line um it'll be it'll go down so okay so now it's at 80 our regulator is set to 80. um if it starts building up a lot of condensation uh, we just go here and the water will come right out all right so pretty cool We've got it all set up um, I got a quick disconnect right here if we want to take off the hose or do something with it. Um, I could have actually done that on this side too, but nah, most likely this is going to be staying in here for a while. Um, got it on the board. I could paint it now if I want to, but I, I don't think I will. Got our air hose wrapped up and uh, ready to be used. So that's the setup here. So it's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you want to learn more about auto body and paint customization and how to trick out your ride, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com right now and get your 85 page auto body and paint manual. I think you're really, really gonna like it and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye bye.